All right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some SAT problems uh, solved without a calculator. Um, we have some different uh, problems that commonly would pop up on the SAT. Um, so the first one is going to be an age problem. Now, John is five years older than his sister, and the sum of their ages is 25 years. How old is John? Well, on this problem, you got to think strategy. And a lot of these problems have the same strategy. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to assign some variables to John's age and his sister's age, and then write an equation uh, showing the sum of their ages and then solve. All right, so let's get in. Let's get in there and start. So for this one, first thing we're going to do is we're going to say John. We're going to say we don't know what his age is, so we're going to say John is X years old. Now his sister is five years older than John. So in terms of variables or variable expression, it's going to be X plus five. So John's age is X. His sister's age is X plus five. And what we know is the sum of their ages is going to be 25 years. All right, so what we can do is we can write an equation. Um, X which is John's age, plus X plus five, which is his sister's age, equals 25 years. So that's the sum of their ages equals is 25 years. So let's do some math here. Uh, we can um, combine like terms. So we got two X's, that's two X plus five equals 25. Now if we solve for X, uh, we're going to get to know what John's age is. All right, so from here to solve for x, we're going to minus 5 on both sides. And that leaves 2x equals 20. So I'm going to carry it over here. 2x equals 20. Divide each side by 2, because that's 2 times x. To, in order to undo that, cancel that out and leave x by itself. We have to divide by 2 on each side. So the twos cancel out. X equals 20 over 2, which is 10. So to go back, what we do is we know X is 10. So the question is asking, how old is John? So if we plug in over here, we plug in X for John's age. We'll know that John is 10. That's going to be the age for John. All right, let's move on to the next problem. Okay, this is going to be a date, excuse me, this is going to be a distance, rate, and time problem. A car travels at a speed of 60 miles per hour. How far will it travel in four hours? So we've got a rate here, we've got a, 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 a time, so we know this is a distance, rate, time problem. So the formula for these problems, distance equals rate times time or distance equals rate times time you want to write it out so what do we know here we know the rate which is 60 miles an hour and we also know uh the distance which is uh oh no how far will it travel in four hours so four hours is the time so we have a rate and we have a time so we're just going to plug in what we know here distance equals the rate which is 60 miles an hour times the time which is four so the distance equals 240. All right, so it's miles per hour and time for the hours will cancel out, leaving miles. So the distance equals 240 miles. Easy, right? Okay. Number three is a percent problem. And it asks you real simply, what is 20% of 150? Now, I came up with this simple problem because this is where sometimes people just get stuck with the percentage problem, percentage problems. You know, what is what is it, what is 20% of this number? What is um, 90 is 30% of what number? There's some confusion in there. These are really easy. So when it comes to what is 20% of 150, it's really simple. You want to take 150, multiply that by 0.2, which is the decimal version of 20%, do a little calculator work, 150 times 
22 is 30. And that's your answer. Now, if you want to check it, you can go back through. You can say 30 over 150 equals. Yep, my calculator shows 0.2, which is the reason I got, which is 20%. So the answer for the problem is 30. So what is 20% of 150? 30. All right. Here is another problem. This is a single variable equation that we're going to solve. So what you see in here is you got a variable, you got a constant, another constant. Um, so what we want to do is we want to, ultimately, we want to get the x by itself. So here we want to do reverse PEMDAS. We're going to start with addition and subtraction, work our way to multiplication and division. So the first thing we want to do is we want to minus 5 on each side. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. Two fives cancel out, leaving 3x equals 15. So now what we have left is 3 times x equals 15. So how do we undo 3 times x? We divide by 3. We do it to that side. We've got to do it to the other. 3x, 15, divided by 3, divided by 3. x equals 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So in this problem, x equals 5, and that's your answer. All right, the last problem is going to be a simple interest problem. It's going to be a simple interest problem. And it says, if you invest $500 at an interest rate of 4% per year, how much interest will you earn in three years? All right, so... First of all, we got to know the simple interest formula. Now, notice it says simple interest here. This is a different formula. Simple interest just tells you the interest earned from the loan. It does not tell you, uh, it does not take into factor uh, compound interest, which is a totally different formula. Uh, but for simple interest, it's going to be interest equals principal times rate times time. Right? So, what we do from here is we look at the problem and we're going to plug in what we know. What are the knowns in the word problem? So if you invest $500 right there, that's going to be your principal. So I, so P is going to be 500. Let me plug that in. The rate, it says right here, interest rate is 4% per year. We're going to plug that in in decimal form, 0 0.04. And the time is going to be three years. It said right here in the problem, three years. Um, we're going to put three. So it's important to note here that the time is going to be in terms of years. All right. So let's do some math. Let's see, uh, 500 times 0 0.04 times three on the calculator equals 60. So the interest, to answer that question, you invest $500 in an interest rate of 4% per year. How much interest will you earn in three years? It's going to be sixty dollars, right? Okay. Um, so, if you guys are interested in watching more videos, um, I am the uh, Math Test Prep Pro, Math Test Prep Pro. And uh, if you do like this video, make sure you like and subscribe at the bottom. So, thank you guys. Um, and if you want to see more videos, just come back to my site. Thank you, and have a good day.